This is our proofing gallery email. And this gets back into, you've already had the experience, but you're about to have another good one, though we have gotta be a little jerky up front. We've gotta let you know this is what we expect of you now because you have to fulfill your end of a business transaction. So we'll let them know, your gallery is live seven days. That's it. If you need more time, let me know. Um, we'll extend it for $50 for another week. Here's a side note, I never charge that $50. I wanna be magnanimous. Oh, don't worry, life happens, we understand. You go over a week, then we'll charge it. So always build things in that you can back off so build in what you, you know, they're like, oh, I've got to do this. And they'll say, hey, just charge it 50 bucks. No, don't worry about it. But don't let them do it again. Do it, do it the one time. So build in, but understand where you're going to back down to, to allow yourself as the business person to look magnanimous and helpful and wonderful. Because again, you're trying to get money from, you're trying to have somebody purchase something. You don't want them to have a bad taste in their mouth before they've done it. Right? You don't want to feel like you've nickeled and dimed them. Because then your order, that order's going to go down. If, you've, if you charge them the $50 for the first time, the order will go down. Guarantee it. Guarantee it. Um, we let them know after 30 days, we're going to report you to a credit agency if you have not placed your order. You've signed a contract. This is a contractual obligation that you've agreed to not only in policy first, then a signed contract. So then we're gonna do it. Now make sure that you follow all the applicable laws when reporting someone to a credit agency. Contact an attorney um, to make sure you're doing it correctly. I'm not an attorney and I'm not giving you any legal advice on how to do that, okay? But what's wrong with doing that? If you miss a, if you miss a contractual obligation with Sprint or a company, a large organization, they're gonna report you and they should. You're on the hook, you, you agreed to something. Product and ordering policy is different than the main product, main policy page. It tells you how to order, order what to do, um, what's expected, how to use the software, stuff like that. And then, down, then it starts getting a little more friendly as we get closer and closer and closer to the link to their gallery with the password. So it starts off, and then it gets friendly, friendly, friendly. Now go, do it, have fun. And then the order comes in. Questions right now? Just one kind of as we're going through here from uh, Chris T38 who just commented, wow, I, I don't know if I would like to be photographed with this aggressive approach. And it is very, it is much more um, explicit about all of the business aspects than a lot of people that we see here on Creative Live. Mm -hmm. um, do you want to talk about that? How that kind of ties in with the experience of what you're, you're creating? That's a, that's a good question. Um, and it really never comes up um, I think it's come up once where someone, oh, it's so mean, I don't want to do it. Then don't. <laughs> I'm good. You don't, you don't need to. But I think it's only fair to let your client know this is how we do business. This is what to expect on the business part of it. That's why we do, it's sprinkled with light and happy. But you don't, I think you're doing a disservice to, oh, it's puppy dogs and feather pillows all the time. Mm -hmm. This is, this is how I'm feeding my kids. So if you're in a contract with me, I'm going to enforce that. I've had people say, well, I didn't know I was supposed to read it. <laughs> what? You put your name on it. Of course you read it. Make sure of that. If you're doing, a, if you're doing let's say, a different part of the business, a wedding, there's a contract. The bride's going to, or somebody's paying. And that photographer sure is going to, and it's not a friendly, happy puppy dog contract. Right? If you don't, if, if, you're, if the groom doesn't show up, you think the photographer's getting paid? Yeah, photographer's getting paid. Don't, don't be afraid of, don't be afraid of your client. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I might have missed it again, but uh, your contract, do you actually have a real contract and they sign it with a pen or um, is yes, it all an do. online they do. thing? They do. Um, the, all in, the, in the sales call, or the, the call where they go to the contract, I'll fill it out, and then it goes with Rachel to the location and the makeup artist when they see the contract, <laughs> when they see the client, 
here's a contract, sign it, done. So, but they get a copy beforehand, so they know what is going to be in the contract. The, the, our policy is, is, it's in the policy, if you want the contract, you can have the contract. Rarely do I get asked for the contract beforehand, and rarely, wait a minute, not really, never has nobody signed it once they're there. And the, it's, a, it's a nice contract, it just says, look, you're agreeing to these things, done. Don't, don't worry about it too much, but worry about it. You know what I mean? Don't worry about what the client's thinking. Worry about you as a business owner. This is what's going to happen. And always make sure that you have a contract. If, you, if it's not signed, <clears throat> whatever the client says is right. 